What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So for those of you that don't know, and as a quick recap, I'm from upstate New York. I'm from about 20 minutes north of Albany, which is the capital of New York, and I hate it here. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to Pennsylvania to do a shoot with a model that I've worked with a couple of times. Her name is Sammy or Samantha. Her and I have worked together in the past. Here's a couple of photos that we've done before, mainly beauty and uh, studio, um, which was kind of where I was really um, hunkering down at the time uh, when we were shooting. So, but for this shoot, it was all natural light. Um, it was kind of like fall season. It's a little past that. I'm kind of late on this video. It kind of happened a few weeks ago, but um, I've definitely been busy with um, other projects so I'm finally able to kind of narrow down and get this video done. The main reason why I think this trip is so important is because I was in a lot of different lighting situations and I got a lot of different kinds of photos out of it and I would love to share that with you guys. So this video is kind of going to be a natural light photography in a nutshell and I'm going to explain to you guys how I got the shots that I got and the decisions that I had to make while I was there as well as some of the editing decisions that I made in post. Well all that said and done, let's get right into it. All right guys, so just to add some context, in order for me to get to this location, it was actually right around three hours, three and a half hours um, in order for me to get out there, which I was totally fine with doing. I definitely needed to get away from my hometown. Um, it's just sometimes you kind of just want to get away. So after arriving to the location, uh, Sammy and I went to some of her family members' property, which was where the first location was. Uh, climbing through a fence, uh, getting into um, this not very well lit area, which is kind of the first thing that I realized. So this first location is going to be about um, chasing the light, right? So in this spot, there really wasn't much light. I noticed here that there was a weird green kind of tint to everything. It seemed that that color was kind of bouncing off the walls and I knew that that was going to be an issue later in post, but you know, you kind of have to do whatever you can do, right? So the main light source that I used for our first set was a barn door that opened up um, that we kind of had to force open. So you have to chase the light. I can't stress that enough. Chasing light is something that you kind of have to do with natural light. Um, I said it before in other videos, when you're in the studio, you have full control over everything that's going on and it's like a luxury, right? When you're on location, um, you may not know the lighting situations before you get there. Um, so you kind of have to know in the back of your mind that you need a good light source. So in this location, this is the main photo from this spot. There weren't really a lot that I really cared for, mainly because of how much color grading that I had to put into it. Um, and you know, in order for me to put that much time into a photo, I need to really like it, right? So this was like the main one that I, that I liked. So the reason why I shot this the way that I did is that the location was kind of like wet and muddy and cold and it had that vibe. So I thought to myself, let me fill as much of the frame up with Sammy as possible. So I said, all right, so I kind of did a down low kind of angle and kind of just had her like kneel down. Um, so I was just trying to fit for her outfit and for kind of like the vibe that I'm pretty sure that she had in mind. And I shot it at 1.8, I shot it as wide as I could go if I had a 1.2, um, or even, you know, uh, there are some that are wider. If I had anything wider, um, I would I would have done it, you know, just to kind of blur everything out as much as I can. This is probably the best one that nailed focus. It's not as high quality as I would normally like, but again, we had such a small amount of light that I really didn't have a lot of light to deal with. Now, in post with this, I knew I was gonna have to color grade it. So I did my best in capture one. I tried to get rid of some of the greens and then I, and then, excuse me, and then in Photoshop, I ended up using three different hue saturation layers for shadows, mintones, and highlights. All right guys, so that actually leads me into my next set for this location, which are these two photos right here. So also on that location, there was a window that was letting in a lot of natural light. And what I wanted to do is that I wanted to put Sammy right in front of that window. And I thought to myself, I can probably use this light the same way I would use it in the studio. So I used it to illuminate one side of her. And originally I was gonna have her backlit, but I decided that for this, I didn't really think it would work out too well. I thought maybe she might be too blown out. So I used it to light one side of her and I noticed that the other side of her was so dark that I was going to need to use a reflector. So luckily I brought my stand with me on the trip and I brought it over in order to illuminate her other side. So that way I could get a better exposed image because before it was just absolutely dark and there was no detail and there was absolutely 
nothing you could really do about it, right? If you bump up your ISO too much, it's gonna cause a lot of grain and a lot of noise and you don't want that. And if you open up your shutter too, uh, excuse me, too slow, then she's gonna be blurry, you know what I mean? So either way, you just needed more light. So these are the befores and these are the afters and I'm really happy with how they came out. So for editing wise, I didn't really do too much. A little bit of a color grade, a little bit of a retouch and I also expand the side for Instagram because that's usually where they go. On to the next spot, guys. This was actually the same day and also kind of just up the road. Same thing on um, some of Sammy's family's property. So for these guys, we really didn't have any crazy light. So the clouds kind of came in and like I've said before, when the clouds come in and you just have a gray sky, everything is basically just a giant softbox, right? So, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, except, well, it kind of depends on who you ask, right? So if you have nothing really interesting with your light, then you can kind of place your model wherever you want. And it's really just about angles and composition and focus and detail, you know, and everything else that makes a photo good. But when you have really good warm golden light um, during that time of day, then it really doesn't matter where you place them in relationship to the light. Here, I kind of just placed her on a fallen tree and kind of wanted to go for like a beautiful woman in the woods kind of, uh, excuse me, kind of uh, vibe. And that's exactly what we got. So for editing wise, I decided to take these and color grade them in such a way that they weren't like traditional colors. So I have an editing trick. Well, it's not really so much a trick. I'm sure other people do it. I take a channel mixing layer and I use the first uh, choice and I change it to a light and blending mode. And it kind of creates a really nice color palette. I haven't messed around with it too much more with other blending modes or anything like that, but this is just the one that I use most often. And that's what I did here. And that's why the grass is kind of a cool color and everything's kind of a cooler tone. And I also did a simple retouch and gave us these images. One more time, here are the befores, here are the afters, super happy with these. So now just as a recap guys, so originally with the original photos, I got really low and I kept her in that beam of light that we got from opening the barn doors. And with that set, it was really just about the colors, right? So if you can see in the original here, everything was really just green and felt wet and cold. And I decided to kind of go for a warmer kind of feel and more contrast and just color graded it pretty nice, I think. And for the other photos, it was really just about getting her lit well all the way around because we didn't have the reflector of those photos would probably be way too dark and it wouldn't be great. And finally, the last set was really just, we got kind of lucky depending on who you ask, is I was able to place her wherever because the light was the same everywhere, right? So, the, so you can shoot natural light without crazy golden hour light. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, you can place your model wherever you want. You just have a giant softbox and that is a really good way to think about it. If you guys want me to go into more detail about how I edited any of these photos from this shoot, definitely leave it in the comments below. I'm probably gonna be writing a blog about this shoot pretty soon and I might go into the editing there a little bit more. Writing blogs for me is a little bit easier. Um, sitting down and making videos takes time, I'm sure if anybody knows. Um, so it is easier for me to just write something up and throw some photos on it. I am editing all the time and shooting all the time, so making videos is tough, but I am trying. <laughs> So with all that said and done, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.